Hello my dear viewers and welcome back. But before we begin, this video is sponsored by my Patreon. Now, since the rules for what is and is not advertiser friendly on YouTube is so arbitrary and they'll demonetize a video for almost anything nowadays or since companies like to throw out BS copyright claims, I have a Patreon and if you're looking to support this channel and you love this content, please consider donating to it. Not only does it help support the channel so I can keep making content for you, but there are all kinds of neat little rewards ranging from custom made AMVs and anime style openings made by yours truly to 3D model commissions also made by me along with other things like being able to see videos early. So go check it out, support the channel, and let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Please enjoy the show. Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about copyright law today. Now, I really didn't want to have to do this, but apparently I have been given no choice. Now, for those of you who have been with my channel for a long time, you may remember that early in my channel, I made a video about copyright law, its flaws, and why it must be abolished. However, it didn't get as much attention due to the fact that it was a smaller channel, but I want to take another minute to talk about copyright law and its many, many problems. Now, today I was supposed to be uploading a review of the newest death battle, and a lot of people seemed excited for it after my prediction video, and every single time I uploaded it, I uploaded the death battle review six times, and each and every time, the second it got uploaded, it got blocked worldwide, the literal second, and it kept telling me it was Rooster Teeth's doing. So I spoke to one of my sisters about this, and she said that it may not be entirely Rooster Teeth's doing if it's being blocked by YouTube's bots, explaining that even if it's a third-party claim, it's usually the bots that will block it during the upload process, which may or may not be the case. Now, I don't really care if it's YouTube's fault or Rooster Teeth's fault. What I care about is that my videos, which are clearly fair use and fit the fair use guidelines, because every single time I upload the video, it gets fucking blocked worldwide. And it's getting to the point where it's actually starting to get to be an issue for my health. I stayed all the way up till 10 a.m. editing, re-editing, and re-uploading this goddamn review, but every single time I would re-upload it, it would immediately be blocked. And it was completely in consistent with why it got blocked. Certain parts of the review that had footage from the death battle were not blocked, but other parts were, like a small little snippet where I showed footage of the actual death battle was blocked. But this makes no sense, because why is Rooster Teeth claiming a show that does not belong to them? They don't make death battle. So why? It doesn't make any sense to me. This is so aggravating. I've been dealing with this for so long. If you know my channel, you know I've had a history of getting false claims put on me by Rooster Teeth. They block my reviews of Death Battle. I dispute them, and then they get reinstated. It's so frustrating. This happens every single time I make a Death Battle review. They put a false claim on it. They block it worldwide. I dispute the claim, and then two or three days later, the review is back up. Now, that may show that this is a YouTube problem and a Rooster Teeth problem, but either way, this is aggravating. Because first off, Rooster Teeth shouldn't be putting claims on Death Battle reviews at all, because it's not really their show. And second off, 
I shouldn't be getting my videos automatically blocked. YouTube should not have algorithms automatically block videos because these stupid bots and algorithms, they don't understand fair use. What should happen is these companies should have to manually have a human being put in a claim for a video to be blocked or taken down. Not automatically by a godforsaken bot. We've seen how broken and useless bots are. This is extremely frustrating, especially when you consider that my channel is growing rapidly, I'm starting to get a large amount of views, and I can't monetize a lot of my videos because they're either getting BS claims put onto them, or YouTube isn't being consistent with how they have their quote-unquote advertiser-friendly standards put into place. For example, pretty much every single political video I have ever made like, damn near all of them, with a couple exceptions, has not been considered quote-unquote advertiser-friendly, and it's aggravating. But the main thing that's frustrating me, I'm not going to get into that, I want to mostly focus on the copyright stuff. Copyright law is extremely abusive. And as I said in my video, it needs to be abolished. It's often used to silence and in some cases steal from people. And it is not acceptable. Copyright law is borderline absurd. I, it is ridiculous how inconsistent copyright law is. And before anyone comes at me, fair use law is completely pointless. You know why? Because fair use law doesn't stop these companies. Even if something is fair use, they can dispute my claim anyway. For example, the other day I was looking through my videos and I saw that... Two claims I disputed on my top 10 best anime openings, they were rejected. So these companies can reject these claims anytime they want, and it's frustrating. Another example of this is Sony. Right now, Sony is going around just claiming any video or stream that talks about the drama that's going on with The Last of Us 2. Even if they don't show any leaked content, they merely talk about it. It gets blocked like one youtuber got so fed up with this he's taking sony to court and i can't say i blame him for it because copyright law is often abused and copyright law just has been used to also destroy companies or hold entire franchises hostage as i mentioned in my jim sterling video copyright law is used to hold exclusive rights over ips and it allows these companies to monopolize entire intellectual properties, and that's not okay. Right now, we have EA holding a monopoly over the Star Wars franchise, and it's aggravating to no end that EA has the ability to do this. And it's not just EA, it's companies in general. Another example is the company that is making the Hellraiser films. They are making really bad Hellraiser films like Revelations just to hold on to the rights to Hellraiser. Because they would rather see the franchise turn to utter garbage rather than allow some other company to make Hellraiser films. Because to them, holding a IP hostage that they believe they can make money off of is far more important. And I am so sick and tired of this. I'm so sick and tired of copyright law. Copyright law is just like any other government regulation that is used to abuse, and copyright law turns everyone, especially on YouTube, into a potential criminal. Like, all of my, almost all my videos I make I get some kind of claim thrown at me. In some cases, I get claims thrown at me from companies I didn't even know existed. It is ridiculous. I checked my Twitter the other day, and for no reason, I got a copyright claim on my Twitter. My Twitter got copyright claimed. Why? I don't know. It won't tell me. I'm getting constant copyright claims thrown at me, and this is bullcrap. Another example is... I was 
editing the death battle review and I decided to add in a remix of a song to use as background music and the background music got claimed by a independent YouTuber that makes remixes of already copyrighted music. This is absolute nonsense and in the case of Rooster Teeth they are trying to claim ownership over death battle episodes where they are using copyrighted characters. The only reason death battle is allowed to do what they do is because of fair use. But according to Rooster Teeth or YouTube, whoever is responsible, my videos are not fair use, even though they clearly are fair use because every single time I have filed a dispute against one of these claims, I win every single time. So this shows to me that YouTube's copyright system is just broken. And I know I'm not the first one to talk about this. The broken YouTube copyright system is something that people have been talking about for a long time. And honestly, it's not fixable at this point. At this point, the only way to fix it is to abolish copyright law entirely. Because no good comes from copyright law. How many times does copyright law have to be used to abuse people and steal from them and in some cases silence people before people start to realize that no good comes from it? Because this is incredibly frustrating that I can't do my job and upload my content without getting these claims thrown my way. In the case of my death battle reviews, the only way I can guarantee I won't get a claim from Rooster Teeth is to just show a picture. Just a picture of something from the death battle or a thumbnail and just talk about it, but I don't like to do that. I like to provide context. I like to let people see the death battle. I like to let people see death battle's analysis and explanation of the character. I like to let them see that so they don't think that I'm just bullcrapping people or just pulling stuff out of my butt. But for YouTube, they don't care about context. To them, context doesn't matter. And I'm sick and tired of it. I am so tired of BS copyright law being abused to silence people and in some cases steal money. I got a claim on my Demonophobia review for a Harlan Ellison interview that came out in like the 1970s or the 1980s. It came out before I was even born and yet somehow it gets claimed. And I can't monetize my own review because of a 30 second clip that I used for context reasons. And it got claimed. And the only option I have is to remove the segment entirely. As you know, I had to re-edit my own ending outro simply because of the background music I used. So I had to use a completely original song to prevent that from happening, and I'm still re-editing my opening, and I'm probably just going to scrap it entirely because I can't find a new song to replace it. I'm just so sick and tired of this. This is bullcrap, and stuff like this that makes me not want to review Death Battle anymore. Not because I hate Death Battle or because I don't want to review Death Battle, but because I'm so sick and tired of these claims. It's so stressful. It's to the point where I'm actively losing sleep because of this. Because YouTube is my job now, so I can't just sit down and say, oh well, I have to be able to keep working to be able to get my videos up on YouTube because I am now making money off of YouTube and I'm slowly making this into my job. So I can't just sit there and say, oh well, if I get a BS claim on my video, then that means I can't monetize it. And that means I can't make money off of my work. All these companies are trying to make money off of my work, my editing. That is unfair. Like, again, where is the fair use? What is the point of fair use law if it doesn't 
actually work? What is the point of it? Because government law and government regulation is a joke. Part of the reason why I'm an anarchist is because of stuff like this. And if you feel the same way, then help me call YouTube out. I know one of my fans said in the comment section of one of my videos that he's trying to get another YouTuber called Hero Hire. I'm sorry if I butchered the name of your channel. He's been trying to get a hold of him because apparently he talks about a lot of Rooster Teeth stuff and drama, and he's trying to see if he can get his attention to possibly talk about what's been going on with me constantly being harassed by false claims from Rooster Teeth, and I really do appreciate that to the individual who did that. I'm thankful that you're concerned and you're trying to get other people to get involved and try to help me out because this is abuse. YouTube's copyright content ID system has been abused for years. I'm not the only one who gets abused by it. The YouTuber Just Some Guy is also being abused by Sony. And speaking of Sony, I'm not the only one who's gotten false strikes thrown at me by Sony. Sony has thrown no less than three false copyright strikes. One on a review of one of the live-action Resident Evil movies, which ironically enough was a very positive review, where I told people to go buy the movie because I thought it was a good entertaining movie. In another instance, I was talking about the top 10 worst servants in Fate, and then that got a freaking strike on it because of some music from the fate anime that was being used as background music because I guess apparently Sony has rights to the fate music. I'm gonna have to press X to doubt on that one because I know the person who makes the fate music is Yuki Kadra and I know for a fact Yuki Kadra does not work for Sony. So they're just abusing this system and throwing constant strikes at me. My channel has been in danger for quite some time. I'm actually surprised that my channel has actually lasted this long because I get constant BS strikes and claims thrown at me from companies that don't give a damn about the law. Make no mistake, these companies, they don't care about the law. They are criminals themselves. They will throw illegal false claims and not care because they know that more times than not, a lot of these YouTubers, especially small ones like me, we don't have the money to retaliate. Believe me, if I could, if I had the money to do so, I would take Rooster Teeth and Sony to court. But I can't do that because I don't have the resources to do that, nor is that something I want to do. Like, that's how bad it's getting. It's getting to the point where YouTubers are having to take entire companies to court over false claims. And all of this because fair use law and copyright law is broken and doesn't work. And because YouTube is incompetent and won't fix their system. YouTube, you need to get rid of all your bots. Get rid of all of them and implement a system where these companies have no choice but to manually put in a claim. Don't have a robot do it because these robots don't understand fair use. How many videos have I made, YouTube, where I had to talk about this? This is like, what, my fifth or sixth video talking about your broken copyright system and you still won't fix it. Like, we're getting to the point where... Videos are being claimed for two second live stream footage. There was a video about Fallout 76 and it got a copyright claim on it that temporarily took down the video from some random Twitch streamer that nobody knew about. And because that video used like a few seconds of their live stream, they tried to claim it. That is how ridiculous things are getting. And it needs to stop. YouTube, you either, you either need to get rid of your copyright system entirely, or you need to fix it. So that's something I wanted to get off my chest. I'm sorry about the Death Battle review. I'm doing what I can to get it up. I don't know what else I can do. I did upload it to my BitTubers, so if you want to watch it, you can go check it out there. 
I'm really sorry about this. I'm going to keep trying to upload videos, but the past 24 hours has been pretty stressful for me. And like I said, I've actually lost sleep because of this. So thanks, Rooster Teeth. And thank you so much, YouTube. Now you are putting my health at risk because I have to keep constantly stressing out and fighting off your BS claims.